Hello, my name is John Kennedy. I am the Director of Health Information Exchange with the Massachusetts eHealth Institute. And today I'm going to share with you a few facts and figures on the national and Massachusetts level uh, in statistics around health information exchange. Based on the 2012 survey, there are roughly 280 HIEs, some public, some private, and as of today, likely a few less. Regardless of how, how many HIEs there are, adoption is clearly on the rise. One half of the nation's hospitals are now participating in a regional, state, or private HIE, and 71% plan to buy new HIE technology next two years. Furthermore, nearly one half of the nation's physicians plan to join an HIE. ONC published a series of dashboards to display data from their ONC American Hospital Association survey. In this one, four in 10 hospitals, or 41%, report an exchange capability for patient health information to and from external sources. Further, 51% of hospitals can query from external sources, which is an uptick from 38% in 2012. Moving to Massachusetts, um, here at MEHI, we recently conducted a survey of Massachusetts-based provider organizations. While this data is self-reported from practice managers, it provides a reasonable estimate of HIE adoption among Massachusetts-based provider organizations. It is reported that over 26% of Massachusetts healthcare practices participate in an HIE. Of that 26%, 51% are participating in the highway or other private exchanges, including Wellport, Holyoke, Connect, and eLink. However, a number of practices that reported participating in HIE could not name the exchange in which they were participating, indicating that these exchanges may not be well known. Of those 26% that indicated they are participating in HIE, here's how they said they were using it. 77% said they were doing it for public health and quality measures, 75% for requests for referral, 74% for e-prescribing, then getting down to the next tier, lab and test ordering was 45%, eligibility verification, 39%, transitions of care, roughly 28%, and then down from there. So specific to the highway, our public statewide health information exchange, organizations are joining and transactions are happening. This represents activity from April, where we had over 200,000 transactions exchanged uh, through the end of April. And cumulatively, from inception to date, uh, which was October 2012 uh, through April, we were at almost 2.5 million transactions. We have roughly 200 organizations contracted to join the highway, with 105 of them currently connected. This highway status map, um, while in development, graphically shows who is participating in the highway and provides a sense of their progress. We've got these statuses we name as in progress, connected, and transacting. Our goal is to get a lot of green dots out there. The more green dots, presumably the more valuable the HIE becomes due to more trading partners. And what we very much want to do is to maintain a library of ways people are using the highway in an effort to grow adoption. You can see a sample of what we're thinking with this Milford example, where we show the organization name, Milford Regional Medical Center. Their status is transacting, and you can see the corresponding green dot. You can see their city, uh, street, and then you can see a summary of their use case. 